What is going on? Good morning, guys. I usually start the video out with, you know, all of us meeting up. We go to Dunkin' Donuts, you know, we all get breakfast together. It's kind of just like our daily thing. But today is going to be kind of a solo video. I think it's just going to be me, unless Daquan decides to come over a little bit later. But um, we got some work to do in the kooky, finally. I know it's been forever. Like, we, ha I really never work on this thing, it seems like. But, like, with my car, like, when I work on it, like, I work hard that day. Like, I get it all done that I need to do. And then there's just nothing for me to do. That's just kind of how it goes with the kooky. Like, when I have something planned to work on, like, I try to get everything done I can that day so I can just, you know, step to the next project, get that done, then the next project. I really try to make sure I do one thing at a time on that car, just so you don't get confused with anything. But today we are pulling the engine. You're like, why? Why are they pulling the engine in the kooky? Um, pretty much, we got to pull the engine because I'm doing tubs. Like I told you guys, I was going to do a tube front end, but I honestly find that kind of pointless because I'm not going to be, you know, like an FD or anything, and I don't want rocks flying all in my engine bay that I worked so hard on. So we're going to be pulling the engine in the Kooky. Uh, we actually got to sand all the paint down, and one of the reasons I'm doing that, I know you guys are like, you know, some of the OG guys are like, you worked so hard on the engine bay, you sanded it forever. Um, I know I did, but I spray painted it. And sadly, spray paint just isn't gonna hold up to the heat that's gonna be in this engine bay, especially with tubs. So we gotta sand all of it down, and um, we're gonna paint it with a gun, so that's good. We're also gonna be painting our own cars with guns, so this will give us some good practice. We might paint Daquan's GTO as well. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this, guys. I wanna go over the tub idea real quick, though. So this is the engine bay for the tubs. I don't remember if I showed you guys my cardboard mock-up, but basically they're gonna start like right here and they're probably gonna come all the way up to here. And this is gonna be a flat part. I'm gonna build like a headlight bracket and everything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It really shouldn't take long. There's a possibility it could come today, but uh, I don't know yet. So we'll see. And I know you're probably asking like, how'd you get those pink pulleys? I actually just spray painted them. I thought it was cool because it matched the hoses down there. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. I'm probably gonna replace them with some uh, chrome ones, but I got kind of bored. I thought it looked cool. So let's get started. I'm all alone. So we're gonna take the trans out first, drop the trans underneath the car, and then we'll hook up the engine hoist and lift this thing out and try not to destroy my front core support. So a quick couple tips if you're removing a transmission from underneath a car, any car, doesn't matter, but as long as it's through a drive. Um, remove your shifter, you don't want to go damaging up your shifter hole. It's really easy, it's either six bolt or you, if it's a short shifter, you can usually, you can usually remove the top. Um, strap your motor up, if you have stock motor mounts, it's going to tilt either way forward, it could rip the motor mounts off, the motor could fall between the core support and the subframe, honestly. So definitely strap that up and then take like a screwdriver and pry it between your bell housing and your engine and you should be able to pop the spindle or whatever you want to call it right out of the pilot bearing and then getting the shaft out of the clutch itself is really easy. So uh, yeah, let's get the strands out. All right, so we got the engine and trans out. It was kind of a pain doing it myself, but it's not a big deal. I've done it before. You gotta do what you gotta do. We got the engine out. She's on the ground. Um, this is a site that I wasn't hoping to see so soon. I was hoping it was gonna be running and driving and then we were gonna do the tubs, but I was like, you know what? While it's out, I can do the oil pan that I want it because mine looks like it's been hit before. So I wanna replace that while it's out. And um, that's pretty much it, honestly, on the engine. The engine's good. Um, so as soon as we finish these tubs up and get the engine back in, it's off to the shop and it's gonna get wired up and the car should run. I have like big news that I have not released to you guys yet because I'm kind of keeping it held back till it's like 100% there. But there's a huge chance that this car could be done this month. There's something going on that is really awesome and it could be finished. So that's really exciting, and if that's the case, I'll be caught up to Daquan and Zach on the uh, drift car projects, and we'll be able to all paint our cars together, hopefully, before Panda Junction, October 22nd. That's when we want to release the cars. So yeah, this is pretty much my engine bay. You guys remember me painting it and stitch welding everything. I blocked in the heater core and the AC spots. And um, so I think pretty much what's gonna happen, 
I think I need to remove my brake booster, which sucks. I really don't feel like going under the dash and doing it, but for it to be resprayed, I have to. I'm kind of wanting to just do the tubs, like sand this part down and tape all that off and then just repaint the front end. But it's like, I want to redo the whole thing, but I don't. I don't really know. I'm going to have to make up my mind on that one. All right, so I pretty much made up my mind. I'm just going to repaint the whole engine bay. I don't care, I want it done right. So we're gonna be removing the brake booster, all the hard lines, dropping the subframe steering rack, lower control arms, coilovers, pretty much stripping it completely to a bare shell front end again, uh, sanding everything down, and then getting bare metal sections where we're gonna weld the uh, tubs on, and then when they come in, hopefully today or tomorrow, we'll weld them in, get everything tacked up, and then either finalize the welds that day or finalize them the next day and then pick out a color, which I'm probably gonna do white again because it looks so clean. And then we'll have it all back together. Then we'll put the engine back in and then we'll send it off to the shop and I'll be there also helping. A lot of you guys were thinking I was sending it to the shop and uh, just leaving it there. I'm actually gonna be, like I'm close friends with the guy. I'm gonna be doing the work with him there and he's gonna kind of step-by-step -step guide me so I'll know how to do this kind of thing again. All right, so I got everything out, the whole, literally the entire front end engine trans, every single bracket. The only thing left is my hard lines and then my brake booster. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm just gonna remove the hard lines from the master cylinder, pull them through the holes, and then undo the brake booster from the inside, pull the whole thing out with one, and then undo the clutch master cylinder, and the engine bay will be completely stripped down 100%. All right, so I got everything done with my car. I even got the dash out. Aquan is in here installing some ducting for his heater coil that you guys saw us do. And then also over here you can see he's got his fuse box all mounted up, which is going to be for, you know, all the race car goodies and stuff like that. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to be sanding this today. Um, I kind of want to use the air sander and Daquan's been working on all the electronic stuff under his dash, so I'm kind of just going to let him do that. And I don't want to make a bunch of noise, so probably do that. We'll be back tomorrow to sand that up. We'll probably do the tubs and everything the same day. Alright, so Daquan's been mounting up his uh, Switch Pro back here. And basically it's going to be like a Bluetooth um, switch thing that he can control on his phone and he'll be able to like turn on his fans and ignition and all that from that inside his car on his cell phone so it'll be pretty sweet but we still have to run some wires up to here to this fuse box where we're gonna put that in the trunk we don't really know yet exactly what we're gonna do also just to let you guys know I think I told you earlier that I will be painting this with a gun and uh, tell him that he should paint his engine bay white as well he wants to do it black but the color that we're gonna be painting our cars, it won't make sense. But uh, so yeah, go down in the comments and tell me if you're white. But it's cool because we already have a gun from forever ago. So we got this from Harbor Freight. Obviously it's not like a professional gun, but Daquan bought it like forever ago. So we have a hose, we have the gun itself, we have a regulator, and we also have this water air separator thing. So we have everything ready to go. We just literally need the paint and then we can uh, start laying some color down on these things. And hopefully we do pretty good on the engine bays because that'll tell us if we'll be able to paint the outside of the cars as well. All right, so Daquan got his Switch Pro mounted up and the distribution block in the engine bay. In the engine bay. In the trunk. Okay. Looks pretty sweet. So Daquan, explain to us how the Switch Pro thing works real quick. I know it's really Whoa. simple. It's Bluetooth, obviously. You basically don't have to use relays unless it's something with a really high amperage. You just run the red wire straight to the power of whatever you want to power. But and you got to ground whatever else. Yeah. You got to send can, this to the distribution block first, Nick, because that's yeah. the fuse, right? And then we're going to send it out. Well, the distribution block, you just have one power going in. And this is just out for whatever. I don't so, even know what so I'm So are we on that. hooking that up to the no, Switch I have Pro? To get, I have to do like inline fuses or get a fuse block which is probably how I'm gonna do most of the stuff because I know like looks legit the up there fuel though. Pump. so there you go we got the wiring we got the fuel cell in there now we just gotta come back tomorrow wire it all up and maybe we can get them some headlights and some fans all right guys so I know we didn't get too much done today but it's already kind of dark um, I didn't sand the kooky at all. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because I'm gonna have like off all day to do it I'm gonna use a air sander. Daquan's finishing up wiring right now on the Switch Pro And then we're probably gonna go inside But we wanted to let you not, guys know that I finally got Forza Horizon 3 after Daquan told me to for months And like a ton of people always told me to I just never bought it. So I finally got it. I got it downloaded 
So if you want to go ahead and add me, I believe Zach has Forza Horizon 3. If I'm mistaken, I will have to tell him to buy it. But I know Daquan has it, and I know how I have it. So go ahead and add me on Xbox right here, Garage Sideways, and when we are on, just shoot me a message, and we will most likely invite you to the game unless there's already too many people playing so yeah you can definitely do that if we don't respond I apologize the last time we did this I got like a hundred messages and that was at like 10,000 subs so we're a lot higher now so please be patient if we're on though shoot us a message once or twice and then we'll hopefully invite you to the game and we can do some mad tam skits so hope you guys enjoyed this video we will be back tomorrow to finish up the cookie and get the tub started also for some reason if you can't add me on Xbox I saw a lot of people actually had that problem last time um, you can also add me on Snapchat, that'll be easier, and then you can just shoot me a message, and then I'll get the gamer tag from there, or add you, whatever we gotta do to run some tandems. So we'll catch you next time, guys. Peace out. Keep it street. Alright, so we're all up here playing Horizon 3 in my room, and I decided to get the kooky, obviously, because, you know, that that's my car. And um, we searched the garage sideways. I figured a car would pop up, obviously. But, like, this is, a, it has the sticker of my car. Like, I forgot what my car even looked like. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is the signature look of the kooky. It's hilarious. Like, just look at this. I wish I could show who made it so I could, like. It does, for sure. Oh, that I guy. The you're the, scroll you're a beast. Yeah, scroll over. That first one is legit though. Dude, that one's cool. I like the gray. Which, this one? Yeah. Keep going. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. You guys are awesome. That's so funny. There's so many. They even put the messed up part. Holy crap. That, that's because my one side had the Bondo on it. Oh my god. That is crazy. Dude, that one looks good. They get the one where it's messed up. That is so awesome. You guys are seriously it's crazy. So you have the messed up like part. that is awesome. Flat out. That what is if so one cool. Had the messed up part?